Bonsoir Paris, hello world, this is the second episode of the PAMA Spotlight. Uh, what is the PAMA? The PAMA is the Paris Art and Movie Awards. It's the leading independent film festival in Paris. France. And what is Spotlight? Spotlight is a new show live we do once a week so we can promote and talk about the emerging and independent filmmakers they, um, that submitted to us. Um, basically, usually a festival promote the filmmakers and have the Q&As and the interviews and everything during the festival. Because of everything that's happening right now and the need of a real promotion and support for the filmmakers, we decided to create that show, Spotlight. So every week, even when it's not the Paris Art and Movie Awards, every week we're going to have a guest and we're going to have uh, movies and we're going to have we're going to be talking movies and promoting uh, the filmmakers. So uh, just want to remind you, the Paris Art and Movie Awards uh, call for films is open right now. We usually we have a tradition which is opening the uh, call for entries every uh, December, usually need December and we keep we stick with uh, this tradition so right now if you want to submit to the Paris Art and Movie Awards that's the best time because that's the lowest um, submission fees you're gonna ever have to the festival and as you know with each deadline the fee um, goes a little bit higher so now is the time if you want to submit to the PAMA. We already received quite a few submissions, so if you want to be one of the first movies we're going to review, now is the time. Uh, our guest today is Emily Sky. Emily is a director, producer, filmmaker, writer, and she submitted to the 2020 edition of the Paris Art and Movie Awards with the movie River short film and we're going to go back to that later um she's been nominated uh she's been nominated a few times and uh she's been part of the celebration of the 10th anniversary of the paris art and movie awards emily how are you good how are you thanks for having me thank you for being this uh how are you doing these days what's new oh i'm i'm fantastic you know it's i can't believe 2021 is like around the corner and that yeah. we're in December, but I have no complaints. It's I'm I'm good. How are you? I'm very good. I'm very good. We are very happy to have this new show because that's the opportunity for us to promote filmmakers like you. You are very active. You keep busy all the time. There's not a week. There's not a day. Uh, I follow you on Instagram and Facebook. There's not a day you are not doing something. So that's pretty amazing. And we want to do. Uh, we want to talk about that. Um, you submitted to a lot of festivals with a short film River. Um, the, we want to, with this show, we want to know and we want to understand what the filmmakers are looking into when they go to film festivals. So with the short film River, what were you looking for submitting to that many festivals? Uh, well, what I look for is like reviews on festivals. And okay. um, I really saw so many great reviews on Paris Art and Movie Awards. So I was like, this cool. is like a place that I really wanted to submit my short film. And it's definitely different not being able to attend any of the festivals yeah. live, which makes a huge difference. But you guys have done such a great job with showcasing filmmakers, even though it all has to be online right now. And uh, so for me personally, when I was looking at festivals, I was looking at reviews, I was looking at um, where I can get the most out of the festivals, you know, like as far as like networking with other filmmakers and just feeling like I have a good place in the festival and not just one out of like hundreds of people that are also going to be in it too, you know? So I was, I was looking at more, more so that sort of kind of environment uh, for this short film because it is more of like a genre type film as well, you know? So yeah. Yeah, that's that's what you I was kind of looking for, for. For those who haven't seen the film or who are not familiar with what we did with the Paris Art and Movie Awards, could you pitch a little bit, uh, River? What is it about? Yeah, so River, the short film, is a psychological sci-fi thriller that follows uh, River as she's trying to put the fragmented pieces of her mind back together. Uh, she can't remember how she went from hiking to being back home. And it's basically, you know, a metaphor of, you know, accepting yourself no matter what's going on in your life, but facing it head on and realizing who you are and being okay with it. 
So when you su when you submitted to the Paris Art and Movie Awards, were you looking for festivals in Paris, France, or were you just going everywhere? What was your no. strategy? So I um, on film um, film freeway, I saw you guys on there first mm -hmm. and I then looked you guys up on Instagram and I thought you guys had such a great social media presence and I saw what you guys were Thank doing you. like you're the only festival I submitted in Paris you know um I didn't oh. go to anybody else Thank so you for choosing us. yeah of course like it was such a great experience I saw just like I really like what you how you guys market yourselves and the quality of films that you guys choose so I was like happy to submit to you guys so yeah so you mean you've been uh, you really did kind of a background check you looked <laughs> at the previous uh, selections we had you looked at the level of quality of the movies we had before and you decided to go with the pama that's it yeah that's exactly exactly it do you do this kind of research for every festival? Because that's I you've been do. doing it as a, as, a, as a filmmaker. It takes. I mean, I I used to, when I had a short film and I wanted to go to festivals or even my previous feature film. I had a huge spreadsheet with every festivals and the deadline and which ones I wanted to go to and the fees and the deadlines and everything. Do you do this kind of stuff? Uh, yeah, to prepare I did. And select? I I did this with um for the short film. And, uh, you know, I, everywhere, I'm, I'm very lucky that everywhere I submitted that I got into, um, but I was very selective because I, I, I just really went for like the market, you know, like where I felt the okay. film was going to do well in. And, um, and yeah, I, I so, so you I did, did it in a way you did it in a smart way, which is what most of the, um, analysts and the specialists of the film festival say you have to choose the film's festivals you want to go to you have to see what the festivals are looking for and if your film kind of fits what they usually do exactly. maybe you're going to be you're going to have better chances a better of chance being selected exactly you know because this is a genre and not all festivals support you know sci-fi e type films you know so um I was selective. I wanted to make sure that River had a good chance to do well at festivals and that it was going to get accepted because as, there's nothing worse, obviously, than getting a yep. no thank you, you know, yeah. <laughs> and your email. And of course, you know, we get those too because it's it's natural part of the process of, you know, submitting and it's okay too. You know, doesn't mean your work is anything less than, you know, it just Absolutely. means it wasn't right fit for that particular festival and um it, it may not yeah. be a right fit at this at one festival yeah. but it may not be a right fit at that moment for exactly. that festival uh, people have to understand and filmmakers have to understand and we try to explain that yeah that uh, we as a festival um we make a selection so we usually receive a thousand movies or more so you have to choose and at some point, um, some year, for example, in 2020, we received a, quite a few movies about the end of times, the end of the world, and post-apocalyptic movies, which usually we have one or two. But in 2020, we had way more than that. So <laughs> I guess, in a way, it's one of the consequences of COVID. But I also believe these movies were made before COVID. Yeah. So kind of um, a program emerge from itself, like, okay, we have common pieces between this movie and this movie and this movie. And as a festival, we have to be aware of all that uh, and base our choices on what's happening right now with the movies and right now with the world. So when you get rejected, Sometimes it's it most of the time it's not because the movie is not good, it's because it does not fit at the right time at the right place. It's exactly. kind of hard to explain, but um, I'm happy you have this awareness of it. I feel like you know, I used to get take things so personally, like over you know, the course of years of submitting, and what I learned, especially right now, too, um, with the pandemic, with the change of globally of how things are going that's going to also change with what stories festivals are wanting to highlight right now as well so yeah. there's just so many different things and um i was pretty lucky to shoot the short film in may of 2020 um which when the lockdown lifted in north carolina and my lead actress mary she was actually 
at her parents' home from LA because she didn't want to stay in her apartment any longer during the pandemic. Uh, I took it as an opportunity to drive up there and shoot the short film, which there was only six of us to begin with to do this. And we did it all in her backyard because they have like a forest yeah. and it worked. So we were lucky to be able to, to do that. Not a lot of people had an opportunity to be able to go out and shoot during this time. And uh, I also believe yeah. that you, you are the type of person who kind of, when you see an opportunity, you see <laughs> it. You you don't wait for it and you go for it. And this attitude is opening doors for you. Um, when last time we talked, you and I, uh, you were on the set, I believe. Uh, you were re rehearsing, I guess, or it was one of the first day of the shooting of the feature film. Uh, yeah. of the river and i was in san diego in a hotel room uh doing some <laughs> um uh scouting back there and uh i mean you were with mary and you had such a great energy the way you build your project and the way you do it you do it and you give a lot so i guess people receive that and they want to work with you so you took an opportunity you shoot a short film uh, in the very early days of the pandemic, and then you went to film festivals. Uh, you had very good results overall uh, with River. You have a lot of laurels, and you had a lot of promotion over the world. And quite very soon after that, uh, you had the money to make the feature <laughs> film out of River. How did it happen? How did everything unfold to make uh, the short film become a feature film, which is kind of a dream for every filmmaker? It was a whirlwind. You know, honestly, like I, you know, Mary and I shot the short, like a concept over FaceTime originally in like no. in February, like, yeah, end of February. No, it was like end of March that we shot this concept, like two minute concept over FaceTime. Her fiance held the laptop. I used my phone to film it through it. And so we did a two minute, I'll have to send it to you. But it went, it did, it got so much good like reviews just on that less than two minute thing that we tested out that I knew that yeah. we were onto something. And so then we shot yeah. obviously the short film in May. And then um, you're right, like it did really well with festivals. Like it, and I think it had to do with just like researching the right ones to like go to. And um, I was hitting all the end of the late deadlines because, you know, that's when all the festivals, festivals, like the last call. And I was like, oh, I'm going to make it. So we like literally threw through posts in like two weeks so that I can meet all of these deadlines. And um, were you, excuse, excuse me, were you looking for deadlines that are going to be a fast, a quick turnout in response for you? Uh, no, it just sort of kind of happened that way because okay. it was over the summer, you know, and a lot of deadlines for festivals are over the summer. And I wanted to, I wanted to be like, I wanted to get it out there, you know, like I wanted to like just do it. I didn't want to wait a year, you know, or like yeah. seven, eight months. Gotcha. So I was like, let me just do this. So I hustled to get to meet those deadlines because I really wanted to go to those. So literally we were doing so well in like the first month. And then, and that's why we were getting all of these acceptances because we already, you know, we were at the last yeah. of the last submission. Yeah. Um, yeah. So literally in July, <laughs> the investors, uh, so River, I, I put my money into making the short film. Yeah. And then I had two investors give me just some money for sound and color grading. And they didn't give me a lot. They gave me like $2,000 just to cover these expenses. And they were so impressed with the short film and how well it was being received that they approached me again. And they're like, I didn't even have to pitch to them. They're like, hey, we want to make a feature film of this. Are you up for it? And I'm like, yeah, I'm up for of this. Course. You know? So, of course. you know, they literally, we Did signed contracts and they put the money in the next day. And then that's, was the fastest ever are in you, my life. <laughs> are you in a position to share the budget you had for, for the future? Uh, I wish I could share the budget, but it is, it is considered low budget. It was under a million dollars. Um, but we, we did it for way less than that, but it, it was, you know, I've gotten reviews already from some people. Like I have a friend that um, is a director from Amblem and I sent it to him to get notes before that I, you know, before I sent it yeah. off to get color and everything. Yeah. And he watched it and it was just like, mind you, like the visual effects weren't there yet. The sound wasn't, you know, the music wasn't there. The sound design, he called me and he said he was blown away and that this looks like a uh, well over a $2 million project the, because of the, the quality. 
when the investors uh, got you to work on uh, on on the feature film version, did they uh, did you have guys all together as a team um, a strategy into distribution and how you were gonna use the film? Do you know already? Do you have goals like we're gonna go to yeah. this distribution company? Uh, we're already having offers from distribution companies that came to me just by seeing the short film. Like uh, they watched it at like Berlin or they watched it, you know, the trailer. And then I'm, I'm getting reached out to, I have a couple people already like distribution companies that have reached out to me wanting it. Um, I'm kind of like waiting a little bit. I want to see, I want to see what else, you know, like what, what, you know, I haven't committed to anybody yet, um, but we have offers from, um, Italy as well. We have offers from China. We have offers from like a bunch of people that are coming in, just excited about this project, which is blowing my mind. But I do. Are, have, you, go, are you going to have one distribution company for the whole world? I might. Or you, I might are you going to split by territories? I, I haven't a hundred percent like decided. I mean, there is this one distribution company that wants to do worldwide. You know, like handle like absolutely everything. Yeah. Um, so, you know, that is a great, you know, potential there. But then I do have um, a producer that wants to take it directly to her contacts to do like maybe a one time, you know, big deal with, um, you know, some of the platforms that we all love. So, you know, there's there's a bunch of opportunities. You know, I'm waiting kind of to like make an ultimate decision, you know, maybe the second or third week in, just, in January, I'll be able to like really okay. kind of figure yeah. out. You know you, who you I want to go with. Time, you get to take your time and make the best decision for the movie, so the movie yeah. has the best exposure as possible. You said earlier that submitting to festivals, you did not want to be just one movie uh, lost into many movies. You wanted to yeah. have some kind of exposure and some kind of existence within yeah. the program of a festival. Um, so this is about my spotlight. So I'm interested in in, uh, in your feedback. Uh, we had this Q&A with you and Marie, and then the festival was on a digital platform, uh, Cinecapsule, and all the Q&As were on Facebook and YouTube. Uh, what was your takeaway of the Paris Art and Movie Awards and the way we uh, screened and uh, supported and promoted the movies. What what's your takeaway from that? Uh, you guys were extremely efficient and um, organized, and I felt like everyone had a really great opportunity to showcase their films, and it didn't feel like people were lost in the festival because oh. I feel like online it's so easy to kind of to feel that way because it's not that we can't be there in person and mingle yeah. and like. Yeah. you know, promote things. It was just, you know, but you guys, I feel like you guys, it was a lot of fun. It was really well done. I had a great time um, in your group, especially like the meet and greets and like talking. It was, it was all just really well done. I think you guys did a fantastic job. The the group was awesome. Uh, that day we had a lot of filmmakers on the same panel and I remember yeah. it was very, very interesting because there is always that thing that you have, um, we had you, we had, I think we had Daniel, we had the lady from the the other post-apocalyptic movie, and yeah. everybody was so different. Uh, some movies were made with money, some movies were made like Guerrilla, uh, some movies yeah. were outside, inside. Uh, it was a very different panel. Everybody was bringing something different to it. And I guess we are still looking in the best solutions to, like you say, Screening the movies, we know how to do. The Q and A's online, we know how to do. But the mingling, the networking, um, how are we? How would you do that? Would you have any uh, tips for us at the festival? I mean, honestly, I, I think like you guys did a great job. You know, like I feel like the mingling was really great, and um, I felt like it was a great panel. Like I felt. I honestly had a really good time. It was great that Mary could sit there with me and that we got to do it together, especially on the set of filming the feature film. Like it was literally the day yeah. before we were going to start filming and it was just exciting. And I feel like you guys really did such a great job. And I'm not just saying that because I'm on a live with you guys, but like, you know, I'm saying it because it honestly was such a great experience. And I feel, um, I think people are really going to enjoy it, especially if, unfortunately, if we have to do online again, 
you know, in 2021. I think you guys did such yeah, we, a great job. It's it's possible. What we are uh, thinking of right now, uh, I believe, and I believe with the team and um, everybody we have, uh, the team we have in Paris and the team we have in Los Angeles, we believe that the digital side of the film festivals is going to stay. Even if we go back, when we go back to the in-person festival, yeah. we still, I mean, we cannot just go back to where it was. Yeah. We have to keep the digital aspect of it and make uh, a mix of interactive um, hybrid festivals. I think that's the future. And we yeah. all need to find a way to, to do it. And we're still working on it. I don't have any solutions right now, but uh, we are definitely working on it. Well, you guys are doing a great job. And I think that's really awesome point to make like a hybrid because people that can't make it out to Paris for a festival or, you know, something happens, they can still be a part of it. And I feel like that, that is a really great opportunity in itself as well, you know, to be I able to too. either go or to be digital. I think too. I think this is an opportunity for everybody who would not have made, who would not have the possibility to travel to Paris, France. Yeah. Uh, going digital is an, a window of opportunities so everybody can really be there in a way and participate actively in the festival. So I think it's we all doing this because we have to, but I think there are opportunities lying there. And if we are able to take advantage of it, the filmmakers, the movies, and all the creative chain in the industry is going to benefit from that. There's I one agree. thing I would like to talk to you about. Um, I've read an interview uh, of you uh, on internet. You've given a lot of interviews, so I don't remember which one was that. But you said uh, something along the lines that it's challenging to be a woman in the industry, in the movie industry. Um, so I get that, and we talk about it a little bit, uh, even quite a lot in, at the Paris Art and Movie Awards, because we support uh, the place of, of women in films. But your company is named She Wolf Films. Yes. Is that does that have? Um, is it a way to try to impress with the name? Is it a way to kind of set up? Uh, the tone, like, okay, you I'm a, I'm a woman, but you you're talking to a wolf, and I know what I'm doing. Yeah. Is there something like that, or am I completely yeah. wrong? Yeah, no, you are completely right. You know, it's more of like, um, I feel like in this industry, sometimes you could feel so alone. You know, like we we yeah. sometimes have to to go alone to make something happen. We have to figure it out. There's you know times where you have people, and then there's times where it's just you have to do this. And I feel I really resonate with like wolves, you know, as far as like, you know, people may underestimate you and feel like you can't do something, but don't turn your back because I'm going to like, yeah. you know, going to yeah. take it, you know, I'm going to take like the it. opportunity, you know, but not in a way of, you know, not being, you know, with integrity or anything like that. It's just more of a way that just like you were saying, like I saw opportunities this year and yeah. I took it. You know, so yeah. I just really feel like a wolf was just such a, I mean, I have my wolf on my shoulder too. And it's just always been something, um, a part of me for so long. So when someone actually told me you're like a she wolf and that was like years ago, it just like stuck with me. You know, there was nothing really like super, you know, nothing that like dawned on me. I mean, I'm going to be she wolf films. It just sort of like happened it hap and yeah. it happened it came naturally. It came naturally. Yeah. Uh, if I encourage people to follow you on social media because you have you have a great use of social media first. It's very entertaining. And it's also a way to see behind the curtain of the life of an active filmmaker. So if people want to follow you on social medias, where do they have to go? Uh, just She Wolf Films. Um, you could find me on all social media platforms. Uh, she Wolf Films. Yep. <laughs> Instagram, Facebook, Instagram, Facebook. Want? I think Instagram, I'm way more active on Instagram than I am on, um, you know, Facebook or Twitter. Uh, yeah. I am on TikTok as well, but that is more of just like BTS videos and things like that. But Instagram, I'm, I'm there. Um, you know, I really try to, to, to show people the journey you know, and I feel yeah. a lot of people follow the journey of the making of the short film of the feature film. I feel people really felt that they were involved and I feel it's important to showcase the steps, you know, and the good, the bad, 
everything so that they understand that is it's obtainable, you know, and that if I'm doing it, they can do it as well, you know, and that there's no, there's no magic, you know, there's no like magic sauce that like makes it magically happen that you have to go out and make it happen for yourself, you know? So yeah, I absolutely agree with that hundred percent. Um, so I'm really looking forward to see the feature film version of river and uh, meet again with all these incredible casts you have. All the girls uh, are yeah. doing such a magnificent job in the short film. I'm really looking forward to see the future version of it. Uh, I invite the people to follow um, Emily on social media. And of course, I want to remind you guys that the call for entries for the Paris Art and Movie Awards is open. If you want to submit to the PAMA, it's going to go until the summer 2021, but now all the lowest fees. And we are watching the films um, as uh, we receive them. We don't wait for the last moment. We watch the movies as we receive them. So we are looking for films and we are waiting for your films. What we are going to do right now, I'm going to show the trailer of uh, the future film River because you just posted it yesterday. Yeah. So it's going to be, it's not going to be an exclusive because it's on YouTube, but still, I think we're going to be maybe You're one the of first the first one to show you are to, to show it. One. Emily, thank you so much for being with us. I really appreciate it. I'm wishing you the best, the very best for everything you are going to do uh, this year, 2021. And I really believe you're going to make it and the good things are going to happen to you. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Thank, thanks for having me and all the support you show. This community is just amazing. So thank you. Let's watch the trailer of River. Yesterday. Jamie and I have been hanging those in town for days. Well, we've all called you at least a hundred times. You search the woods, you home. I do feel like I'm going crazy sometimes. Just be strong. Jamie can't go with you. This is your journey. Do you think I'll ever be normal again? It's my job to watch you. I don't remember how I got home. This is going to be a great movie. You can tell the cinematography is awesome and the story is very interesting. Uh, I've seen the short film, so I know this is going to be a good one. And uh, guys, you're going to be, uh, you're going to have to to watch this. And um, this is going to be better. Let me stop that. Right. Okay. This is live. This is live. So I have some sounds in my ears that you may not have. I hope you didn't have them, but uh, that's it. Uh, thank you, Emily, for being with us. We really appreciate it. Guys, if you want to be in Pama Spotlight, you have to go on Film Freeway and submit to the Paris Art and Movie Awards and uh, follow the, um, the rules and regulations so we can have you on the show. Thank you for everybody who's tuning in live and who's tuning in afterwards. The first episode of the Spotlight show we did uh, hit more than 600 people already, 600 views, and this is going, this is growing every day. So we are very happy to bring this platform to you with the Paris Art and Movie Awards. We are very happy that we are uh, creating an opportunity to support the filmmakers and to support the independent creators uh, in the film industry. We also have photo photo category a drone category we have music videos we have experimental movies we have more than 20 categories of the paris art and movie awards so um thank you for tuning in and uh check the paris art and movie awards so you can be next on the show and so you can be next on the festival thank you so much see you next week